Got some dog bones. These are gigantic scapula bones, probably beef or buffalo, who knows. And they're from Aldi. Actually, Aldi had them on sale for seven bucks, which is a lot cheaper than you can get them at uh, some of the other farm stores. But here's, we got one for steel. <coughs> no. Dina, no. And that's trying to steal the bone away from steel. Zena, no. Get over here. No. No. Here. You got your bone over here. Get your bone. Lay down. Eat your bone. Lay down. So they're munching away on their bones. Now, one reason to give them the bones is uh, when I build up some plaque on their teeth, this helps to remove their plaque. I brushed their teeth, but still, this is gonna remove uh, plaque a little bit better. Sometimes you can't get it all with brushing. Yeah, you like your bone? Of course, you can never give them chicken bones, so these bones should be okay. Of course, it's a good idea to only have them eat the bones while you're observing them. So this way, in case they do choke on the bones, you can you can help dislodge it. And uh, I've had uh, dogs choke on those rawhide chews, so I don't give them rawhide chews anymore. But if you do have a rawhide chew that gets stuck, depending on the dog, what I do is I stick my finger in their throat and I pull it out. But uh, some dogs will bite you, some won't. But uh, none of my dogs have ever bit me when I did that, so I usually stick one hand in and try to keep the mouth open with my fingers and then use my right hand, my index finger, and the donor throat and try to pull out anything that's uh, stuck. Yeah, Steel doesn't like Xena coming and looking at his bone. See, now go get your bone. Go with your bone. Everybody's happy and friendly until it comes to the bone. And then nobody wants to share.
Here's one to growl at me. No. 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 Zena, no. I don't have breath. 